Another thing we have to talk about in our entity relationship model is the cardinality. I mentioned cardinality before. Cardinality deals with numbers of entities which can somehow be connected. Not only entity sets, but also entities. In our examples before, we saw that uh, professors can be somehow related to students. And now, with cardinalities, we would like to fix in our entity relationship model how many professors can be related to how many students and vice versa. How many students to how many professors. And this is a question for the cardinality. The cardinality which describes the quantity of a relationship set. The quantity of entities which are related to each other. We have two different notations which are possible to apply. Here in the presentation I have a focus on the Chen notation. There is another notation called min-max notation, but there are other notations as well which are available for describing these quantities in the relationship set. Now let's see what is special about the Chen notation in our entity relationship model. We first have to consider one important question about this cardinalities. The question is written up here. How many entities of one entity set can be connected to many other entities of another entity set in a relationship at maximum? So that means we have actually two directions in which the cardinality is to describe in detail. The first direction is from one entity to the other and the other direction is from the other entity set to the first entity set. So this means that the entity relationship the entity relationship, so the, uh, the, the type or kind of model which is shown here entity set, entity set and the relationship set attends is split into two directions, from student to lecture and from lecture to student. We will see later why this is important. And to express the quantification of such a relationship set, we have three or actually four different possibilities. The first one is one-to-one, one-to-one. The second one is one-to-n. The third one is actually the same as the second one but in the other direction. And the last one is m-to-n. If we apply that model of thinking onto our concrete ERM here in the bottom area, student and lecture, then we can ask two important questions also describing the different directions. The first one is how many or which students attend the lecture? How many students attend the lecture? And the other question, which is important for the view of the student, which lecture does one student attend? Or from the view of one student, which lectures do I have to attend? For the professor who holds the lecture, who uh, provides the lecture, it's important to see how many or which students attend. And for the student itself, it's important to see how oh, to which lectures do I have to go, which lectures do I have to attend. And in the following part, I will describe how these 
1 to 1, 1 to n, n to 1, and m to n quantifications will show up with these cardinalities and what it means in the model at first and for the concrete entities second. 